Sean, but it gets really super hot here in St. George. I never noticed. In the summers. You haven't? No. Oh, I, I noticed. Maybe it's because I'm, you know, outside <laughs> baking in the sun while my kids are playing sports. Yeah, and I'm indoors. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. What do you do? <laughs> but anyways, people around here, they're always looking for ways to beat the heat, and we have one way that you can beat the heat for the entire summer. So stay tuned. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dazad. And I'm Courtney Dazad, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in St. George, Utah. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know all about living in St. George, Utah, don't forget to press on the subscribe button. And don't forget to press on the bell so that you're notified every time we upload a new video because we upload new videos every week. Yeah, and as much as we love making these videos, we are licensed realtors in the state of Utah. So what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you want to do is want to give us a call choose a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. So Sean, where we live, we live in a valley. It's the severe desert of the American Southwest, and we have these beautiful red rocks all around us. It's yes. definitely a specific landscape, a unique landscape, one that you don't really see in that many areas. It's very unique. <laughs> oh. Very unique is not the proper term because <laughs> unique means it's the only one. But anyways, I'm getting into but my- it's super, super unique. Okay, I'm, I'm getting unique. into my- <laughs> I used to be a writer, so anyways, <laughs> so that, that's beyond like, the point. So she used to just when I okay, write, yes. do this stuff. Okay, beyond the point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of those annoying people that corrects. I don't openly correct your grammar, but I do in my mind. But Part of her inside dies when this I, happens. I do, especially when people on, on, on like holiday cards, they put an apostrophe of their name, you know, like the Henrys, and they put H-E-N-R-Y apostrophe S. That is not what you're supposed to do. Okay. Be, be See, on. look at this. The, like you thought you were getting in here <laughs> just to understand about real estate stuff. Now yeah. we got a grammar lesson. We did. We did. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> um, be on, okay. Okay. Done with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I was talking about how, you know, we live in this beautiful valley that's the severe desert of the American Southwest and you have, you know, these red rocks. But what's interesting is that 50 minutes away, you are suddenly up into these mountains. Yes. Well, actually, I would say it's 45 minutes from the center of town, 50 minutes from, from, our, from our house. And it is a completely different landscape. It looks like, it almost looks like what you think of as, you know, the mountains around Salt Lake City. So it almost looks like Northern Utah. And what this is, is Pine Valley. So explain, what is Pine Valley? So Pine Valley is this, again, this this city that's actually, is it even a city? I no, it's like a it's, census district. Yeah, so basically <laughs> elevation is about 7,000 feet. So it's kind of right up there in the mountains. So, and again, nice elevation change because, you know, yeah. St. George is about 25, 2600. So we're talking about like about 4,500 uh, 4, foot difference in elevation. So obviously with that, you get a huge relief and the temperature drops. Again, it's not cold there in the middle of summer, yeah. but it's way more pleasant. Yeah, it's about 20 degrees cooler. So what we were saying in the beginning, how do people, one way that people choose to escape the St. George heat is they will buy a second home out in Pine Valley. Yes. Because they can just go there for the summer and it's only 45 minutes away from the center of town. So it's actually not that even that bad of a commute. Like if you wanted to, you could commute here every day. Yeah. Or you could stay there. Like let's say if you have some remote work or something like that. But so give a little insight into the real estate. There's obviously not that much homes up there, right? Yeah, so, the, the so population last is about, what, 250 people, give or take. I mean, of yeah. course... A lot of people it, have second homes here, of course. Yeah, it varies a lot in the summer. A lot of people go up there in the summer and then they live there in the summer. Yeah. Yeah, so how many homes were sold last year? Yeah, so in about like so in the last year or so, what basically we had was what, like about 27 homes, I think. That you were know, sold. And I say homes, but you know, a lot of it's cabins, let's mm -hmm. be real. Like, so I wouldn't necessarily, you know, so you have properties that are like, you know, small cabins, mm -hmm. like really cheap little dinky cabins, and then you have basically estates like these are like you know cabins on steroids where they're like they can be like seven thousand feet square feet yes and then some of them have you know a decent amount of acreage yeah. there is some new construction going on up there but again decent this amount is, surprisingly actually yeah. when we were driving by there just the other day i was shocked by how much 
new construction was happening there, given mm-hmm. you're going to this. There's not that many homes here. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty surprising. And what's the range like in prices? So prices range, you know, like two, three hundred thousand on the low end for these like dinky little cabins, which are pretty awesome. Like, again, like as a relief. Yeah. Maybe just to just get to, out of the there. heat. And then, so it's super reasonable from that perspective. And then all the way to, you know, well, well over a million, like, you know, like closer to, you know, possibly closer to two million, depending on just what kind of size you're looking for. But these are like you know, huge homes. And then let's talk about what is the day to day there? I mean, there's not, I don't, there's not stores. <laughs> it's not grocery stores. Yeah. They have one restaurant, but it's only open. Sat- Fridays and Saturdays, I believe. Friday night and Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> So there's not much out there. I mean, it's really a place to escape, right? It's it's as if you're just living out in in the wilderness, really. Yeah, and, and again, you're you know you're clo- I mean, it's not like you know you're you're not that far away from other convenience stores of some mm-hmm. sort. Now you're not gonna get like supermarkets, right? You're gonna yeah. have to go clo- way closer to town for that. So you're gonna get a good forty ish minute commute to get to actually real like normal shopping that a lot of people do but as far as like general stores and that kind of stuff i mean that's only like a 10 ish minute drive or something yeah like that. there is you know as you go down the mountain closer to st george there is some you know settlements so you do get some stores and stuff i think enterprise is not that far away from there too so yeah. and then veo and all the stuff like you know so i guess veo pies shout out <laughs> amazing pies there <laughs> yeah but in terms of it's not like you know, some maybe some other mountain resort town. Well, it's like Park City, right? It's it's not that, right? Where you have like shopping mall, like big establishments, no. Target, Costco. You don't have anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's just really just again, it's just primarily homes. You know, they have, you know, so you're you're going out there taking it all in, enjoying like the amazing views. Some of these some of these cabin stuff, the views are just absolutely breathtaking. And mm-hmm. so you have like this valley and then you have this, just the, the backdrop off of these mountains, you know, mm-hmm. the national forest there. And so it's just, again, you're taking it all in. You're slowing things down. Yeah. You know, this is, this is again, to, uh, like an escape. This is like a little vacation, basically. Yeah. You're going there to, you know, just enjoy life. I mean, what are the, some of the things that you can do in Pine Valley as recreation? Oh, like hiking is really popular. Fishing. Mm-hmm. There, there's a reservoir right there where, you know, super popular people are fishing there all the time mm-hmm. and so it's just you know it's it's just like a again you just think about like relaxing and that's what you're trying to do here yeah the santa clara river kind of just like runs through it totally. and, the, and there's a lot of cows too. totally for sure <laughs> a lot of cows if you go you know walking along the trails you'll see the cows just yeah really random actually mm-hmm. like <laughs> you're going there's cows here. Like, this is odd, but like, mm-hmm. again, you don't want to approach the little baby cows because that mama is going to be kind of a little yeah. protective. I mean, I'm, I, I've never been attacked by a cow, but I don't, I don't push my luck. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, whenever I see like a mom with her little calf, I'm like, you know, I'm just to leave them alone. When there's an animal that like is way bigger than you, just don't mess with it. That's all. Especially if it has a baby. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you don't want to mess with a mom. No, but I mean, yeah. So you're going there again. It's very leisurely, right? You're mm-hmm. not... Again, this is just a, a way to escape the heat or just a change of scenery. Because again, it, people go have this as their second home all year round, not just like in the summer. Mm-hmm. But you just you're just going there to get away from the hustle and bustle of St. George. Mm-hmm. And again, it's only like you know 40, 45 minutes away. Yeah, and another thing is that the, the roads are rather good. I mean, the drive up to Pine Valley is oh, it's super it's, smooth. Yeah, beautiful road. It's not like you're on dirt roads. I mean, obviously in the main part of it, right? Yeah. Sure there's plenty of dirt roads up there, but like. <laughs> To get to Pine Valley from St. George is super smooth, super smooth drive. Oh, oh, most of these homes have, you know, year-round access. Yeah. So when it starts, because obviously it snows up there. Um, down here in St. George, we don't really deal you with snow. You little dusting of yeah. every so often. Every so often. But yeah, so it's really just a place to go to, to- have a total change of scenery because it's a mountain with pine trees. I mean, it's totally different than what we're experiencing here. Yeah, for sure. And as an added bonus, here's a little montage of what it's like to experience Pine Valley, Utah. So I know we live in the severe desert of the American Southwest. However, bone dry. (laughs) Not even an hour away, you have this beautiful little spot called 
Pine Valley. Oh my gosh, it is, it's amazing. It's, it, it's amazing that you can get here in such a short period of time because it's such a different yeah. vibe and feel mm -hmm. like from, again, St. George. Yeah, that's actually one of the things I really love about living in St. George is that there's so much diversity of the wildlife and the trees and the plants. You don't have to travel that far and then you feel like you're in a totally different place. It's really, really awesome. And what we, I was telling you. Well, I, actually, I, well, if you hear Courtney breathing kind of hard, it's because we are in a bit of altitude. Here. Yeah, it's about 7,000 feet, which is kind of crazy that it only takes less than an hour to get 7,000 feet from St. George. Yeah, because you know, St. George is about 2,500-ish yeah. feet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you're moving up like 4,500 feet in a pretty short period of time. And it's actually, uh, back in St. George, it's about 110 right now. And it's not cool here. I mean, definitely cooler. But I would not say it's cool here. Yeah, it's so. about like 85, 90. Yeah, like probably. probably. So yeah, so you nice, you know, again, 20 degrees makes a difference. It does. Like big time. Big difference. Um, yeah, a lot of people like to come up here just for the day. A lot of people like to come to for camping. For f and fishing. And fishing just for the day. Um, yeah, to get out of the heat. And I was telling Sean that it reminds me of Switzerland, but... <laughs> What, what did you tell me that oh, it was? Swiss person. Again, it's just that it, I don't think that a Swiss person would agree. Yeah. <laughs> My daughter brought up a really good point, actually, because I was like, it was good, like just describing, like, just smell this pine, the pine in the air. It smells so good. And my daughter said, well, we are in Pine Valley. Uh -huh. I was like, oh, you know what? That's true. <laughs> So it really is like Switzerland because we got cows literally all over the place. Just like Switzerland. <laughs> So I bought some brisket down at the co-op on Main Street and now we're enjoying it in this lovely picnic right by the reservoir. And then we're gonna go check out the amphitheater and see this big jug of water that we have. We brought two of these and already one of them is almost gone. You always gotta have enough water because it's so dry. Not only is it hot, but it's super dry. So that's it, that's our video. And again, as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you with your real estate needs because we are licensed realtors in the state of Utah. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home, what you wanna do is you wanna give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you wanna get a hold of us, we've got your back.